Hey, what's going on guys? Your boy James here, Beers and Cars, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now, in this video, guys, I'm trying to show you two different ways that you can blend your sideburns. Both of these ways I use, but one way I use more than the other. So the first one's going to be with a set of clippers with a guard attached to it. All right, so this guard here is a one and a two on this side. There's a few different ways you can do this. You can also adjust this up and down for getting closer or further away. I like to start out with it down. And then the other way is with the comb and the clippers together, all right? Now, the comb and the clippers is my more preferred method. Uh, it just seems a lot easier to me. You know, some people like to take the clippers and actually go straight down like this um, at their beard. So to trim this area right here, I feel like if I do that, I'm going to start digging into my beard. So I try not to do that. I try to go the opposite way. And I try to start kind of far out and then just kind of work my way in. And I never just go in and touch it to my beard like that. I never do that, guys. I literally just go in and start barely nibbing it off. I never go in and just go upwards. That's going to leave you a big gouge there, right? So what I like to do is pretty much, this is how I like to look at this. So right here, your cheek line Kind of where it stops and then it goes upwards. Or at least mine does anyways. It tapers up like this and it kind of stops and goes straight up. All right, so pretty much where this stops and meets this area right here on my ear. That's pretty much what I like to take off right there. This is the part that I'll be blending, all right? So with the clippers, I like to kind of get this bushed out a little bit. So I'll take my comb. Sorry, I'm looking in this uh, mirror over here, guys, if you're wondering what I'm doing. I can take this here and get it just a little bit bushed out, but not too far down. Just kind of in that area that I'm talking about, right? So you can do it like that. And then what you essentially have is this right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So, and then I like to start, like I said, with this part here that adjusts. So it moves up and down. That right there, I like to start with that all the way down like that. All right, and then we're gonna turn on and start trimming, all right? So I'm gonna be looking in this mirror so I can see, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna kind of hold down the areas that I don't want to mess with. So if you can see right there, this is what I wanna be taking off, all right? So like I said, pretty much right here where your ear meets your cheek line is what I don't wanna to touch. So we're gonna start right now. And you can kind of just start outwards and then slowly go in. And keep, and keep in mind, guys, that your beard goes outwards like this. So you don't ever want to just completely go all the way in here. You just want to kind of, you want to kind of go with the flow of your beard. So if you start, if these hairs are sticking way out here, you want to start out here and taper that in like that. So you're going to go, you're going to cut a taper like this in your beard. You're not going to cut straight down like that. Uh, that's a no-no. You're just literally going to taper those hairs like this. Kind of like your beard is doing it. it. Usually tapers out away from your face. It doesn't go down like that. You don't want to cut inwards. All right, so here we go. The closer you get in to the top, if you cut your own hair like I do, the closer you get into the top, you can kind of remember what this is up here as far as your hairline up here. Mine right here right now is a one. So this is a one, but I'm starting with the one and then pulled halfway down. So probably about a one and a half on the guard, right? So I know that once I get into close toward the top area, towards the top area here, I know that once I get up here, that these clippers are not going to take my head <coughs> uh, hair here straight to the skin. So once I get up here, I can start kind of touching it to this area. Not here though, just kind of further up here, not down here, just right up in here where it starts blending. So that's kind of how that works guys, just like that, all right? But then, what I like to do is I like to get a pair of scissors, all right? I like to brush these hairs backwards like this. 
towards my ear, all right? Because these, the, these are the ones that like to get off inside your ear or touch your ear and it drives you crazy. So I only do this about the same, right in this area. I'll actually trim this a little bit lower than what I did the blend. You know, when I did the blend, I would only come to about right here. But with the clip, with the scissors, I'll brush this back and actually come a little bit lower. It doesn't bother me. But now we're going to do that right now. And that's just to get any of those hairs that are in that area. So, as you can see, like I said, guys, that was uh, just done real quick. I don't like doing it with the clippers, but that shows you that you can do it with the clippers. And then you see this side over here, all right? You see that? Versus that. So this blends straight into the head right there. And this has just got all kinds of curly hairs um, sticking out there. So this feels a lot more comfortable right here. And I'll go back after the video's over and I'll fine tune it just a little bit, but this just gives you an idea of what you can actually do. So that there got a lot of them hairs up off my ear because that's what's going on right now. It's just driving me crazy. This side is all over my ears and so is this side. But this time I'm gonna come in with a comb I'm going to show you how you can do it with the comb. So you can actually leave this guard on, or you can take this guard off, whatever you want to do. I personally take the guard off, and I go with just the comb. Now, I've done a video like this before, but I just want to show you guys the comparison between the two, all right? There's really not a whole lot of difference, between, but just really just the way that you're doing it, all right? So, um, and sorry if I'm looking over the side, you know, I'm recording on a new phone, so I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to look at. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be looking right here, which should give you a perfect view of me looking directly at your face. But, you know, I'm looking over here to just make sure this looks good and uh, start blending this side. But that's why I'm looking a little off. And then I also have this mirror over here that I have to look into. So now with this way, what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go in about right where you want to be at. And you're going to start pulling hair, these hairs upwards like this. All right. Don't go any lower. So we just want to be like right in here. So we got that right there. It's pretty much what we're going to start cut, cutting off right there, right? It's hard because you start pulling them up and then you start pulling up a lot of these longer hairs. So just, you know, keep that in consideration and be careful. You don't want to take off too much. All right, so that's what we're working with right there, guys. I got hairs all over me. So we need to get rid of this and get it nice and smooth like that, right? So that's what we're going to be doing right here. So I'm going to take this comb. Same thing. I'm going to go under it like this. I'm going to lean. It. The beard comes out like this, all right? So what we're going to do is we're not going to hold this comb. We're not going to hold this comb flat. We're going to come in there and take this comb. Get up under them hairs, and then we're going to lean that comb outwards like that, all right? It's hard to show you on camera, but we're going to lean it outwards like that. Just like that. Away from the face. That way you're not digging into your beard. You're actually tapering these hairs away just like that. So it'll start out small, and it'll taper away. So it's got that same shape to it, all right? So here we go. Let's get this right here. This is the way I've done it for so long. You guys may not be able to see me do this in, this, in, the, in the camera here because, you know, left side is what it is. But this is basically what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking this here and cutting here. Actually, I'll try to do it like this, all right? So like I said, keep it away like that. You see the gap back there? You see how you can see my ear? If I hold this here, you see my ear through there. So keep your comb at an angle away from your face so you don't dig straight in. And then we'll start clipping these hairs just like that. Good start. Same thing, I'm gonna go back and get a little bit closer. Same thing, go back. Try to get a little bit more hairs that are sticking out. Just a few of them. Now. Like I said, both ways will work fine. It just really depends on whichever way you feel more comfortable doing. 
Now I'll go back, like I said, brush some of these hairs back a little bit. The ones that like to stick and touch your ears, those are the ones that drive me crazy. I gotta get those off or else they'll just drive me nuts every day. So, like I said, brush those hairs back. Don't go too low. Brush them backwards. Take your uh, scissors and just go in like that and trim them off. Just like that, so yeah. Brush that out. Brush that out. My nose is a little runny, guys. I don't know, man. Cold weather. All right. So, let's just see what we got here. So, here's this side. Got hairs all over me is what I got. Here's this side. All right. That's done with the comb. Got hair over there. Anyway, that's done with the comb right there. As you can see. Still blends real good. That's the way I usually do it. And this side is done with the clippers. Now, I don't really see a big difference in either side. I think both sides look fine. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but leave me a message down below and let, you know what you, let me know what you think. I think they both look pretty close to the same. But yeah, that'll give you guys two different ways that you can blend your sideburns. Both ways are pretty easily, or sorry, both ways are pretty easy as you see. I'm not used to doing just the clipper thing. Uh, I'm used to doing the comb. So I just got really used to doing the comb. And when I'm looking in the mirror, the comb part is a lot more easy for me. It's hard to show you guys that, but just looking in the mirror here and using a comb and going at it, uh, either way, I'm really used to that. But the clippers, both both ways are really easy. So like I said, guys, it's early in the morning. This video is way longer than I wanted to be, but hopefully that'll give you guys some curves to blend those sideburns in. But you see how nice and tapered it looks now? It blends straight on into the head. And uh, that's the kind of look. You want to keep a nice look, guys. So if you're growing a beard, you got to get you some blending going on. You know, let it blend in. Let it look smooth. And, uh, yeah, I got to get out of here because uh, my beard is all over the place. And I just woke up. So see you guys in the next one.